Hey YouTube, Zach here. I'm out here at Trout Lake in the Ocala National Forest. I found this campsite on freecampsites.net like last summer. I stayed out here last July for one night and uh, just came back and stayed again for one more night last night. Um, nice spot, I'll leave the, all the details below and I'll actually link my other video about this place above right now. And uh, uh, this place is a sweet spot because uh, like I said, it's secluded. And I mean, there were people here yesterday. I'm going to give you the rundown. We rolled in in the afternoon. I don't even remember when. And uh, there was a family right here. And there was guys loading and unloading their boats that were just chilling. And uh, then they left. But we had mom and dad and three boys. And then there was a tent left here. If you watched my video about the journey getting here, there was there. you should see a, a tent and some stuff there. Like those people, they took the tent and then they left the trash for us. But I put the trash away. And uh, other than that, right here, a group of like five kids came in last night dragging trees from the forest, like behind their vehicle. They spent more time dragging trees here than they actually stayed here with the fire. Like they built a giant fire here, and then like an hour later they left. So we scavenged all the wood up and we burnt the rest of their wood for the most part. Well, they had like long trees and we, we, you know, they were gone. They didn't come back, so it wasn't no big deal, but... You know, they weren't, they didn't bother us or anything, so it was cool. Um, there's a little path there that you can walk. I walked almost all the way around to the other side there before the tr the path ran out, so I don't know what goes on. If it actually goes all the way around or what, it would have been cool to come all the way around, but it didn't, like it got wet back there. A little swampy, so. There's our camp, you can see it, it's pretty nice. We're packing up right now, we're heading to Daytona. Uh, we're gonna get some food and maybe a room just because like I said it's still kind of raining out here and it's not going to stop and and it's Sunday so we should be able to get a we should be able to get a decent rate on a room even if, if it's on the beach or not I don't care but I know I can get $50 rooms right across the beach in Daytona when it's like not bike week but it was bike week this week so I'm hoping that's over I, I'm not counting on this. This is just a this is just a plan. We're wanting to get on the move, and uh, if not, we might come back here because it's only like an hour or some change away from where we're going to next. But I doubt we come back tonight. I'm glad we made it back though, and I got to stay a night. I didn't kayak because it's just basically been sprinkling the whole time, and like I said, it's not warm out here. It's like 60 degrees or so, 63 degrees or something like that. I mean, it's not hot, but it's not cold either. So it's like, okay, you know, it's it's manageable by by no by any means, but it's definitely not my favorite kayaking weather to be rained on. And so maybe tomorrow it'll be a little better. I'm just being a sissy today, you know. I I don't want to get it off the roof of the van. <laughs> I did. I pulled my shoulder last night, and it's been like I I went down. Like I don't know what it was. It's like a muscle tightened, and I just. Uh, I, could, I couldn't stand up straight for about an hour until it, like I had to like work it out and loosen it up. I hear somebody over there. I don't know what that was. But a beautiful spot, guys. Trout Pond in the Ocala National Forest. Courtesy of freecampsites.net. Uh, like I said saved us eighty dollars in a room last night you know what i mean like i wouldn't that's not what we came down here to do anyway though is not to stay in rooms the whole time we wanted to camp a little and this might not be the not, last night we camp you know it depends if uh said the, the thing about finding free campsites.net is you have to go and like research them and look them up and then you got to go to them and not all of them are ideal for me like that's just the way it is now if i was by myself and i didn't have my buddy with me i could just pull over on the side of the road and sleep anywhere in the back of my van but like with him you know i want to we just want to chill out and have a spot you know what i mean we're not trying to just boondock at the walmart you know what i mean it's it's no fun to me like i want i need a spot to you know so i can get out and stretch my legs burn some wood drink a beer too and not have to worry about you know people <laughs> that's what i like about spots like this anyways it's just the the whole lack of people but like i said there was a family here and there was kids here but nobody bothered us man like just a it's a great old time uh like I said we stayed up late we slept late now it's time to go get some food so uh thanks for checking out trout pond with me uh pretty cool spot like i said it's on freecampsites.net down here in the southern part of the ocala national forest i suggest getting out here one day before somebody trashes it and they shut it down because that's 
how these things go it seems like i've noticed uh but like i said this one looks pretty good we picked up after ourselves the neighbors picked up after ourselves and then we picked up after the other neighbors you know what i mean so either way if you guys if you want to see more videos like this i hope to do many more in the future and then other than that just please like and subscribe and uh thanks for watching peace